So, in the category stage 3, we have a structural abnormality and then we need to know that well, for the short function for the, the category stage 3 is divided into two. We have category stage 3 A and we have category stage 3 B. Is it clear? Now, for the category stage 3 A, the structural abnormality of the kidney, we read the structural abnormality of the kidney with a functional abnormality, meaning that what? It is 45 to 60 mils per minute per 1.7 meter squares, 73 meter squares of surface area. While category 3 stage B, 3B, is going to be a structural abnormality um, with a functional abnormality of um, 30 to 45 mils per minute um, per uh, 1.73 meter square glomerular filtration rate. Now, the next one is a category 4, which is a structural normality plus a functional normality of um, 15 to 30 mils per minute as a glomerular filtration rate. Yeah. So we have um, a structural normality plus a functional normality uh, that is a glomerular filtration rate of 15 to 30 mils per minute per uh, 30 mils per minute per 1.73. For cardigo stage five, we have a structural normality with a functional normality of a glomerular filtration rate that's a functional normality of less than 15 mils per minute per 1.73 meters squared. <coughs> So that is for the cardigo classification. Now, after visualizing the cardigo classification, the, the, the three main stages, the five main stages of cardigo classification of chronic kidney disease, we need now to understand that we have also the proteinuria associated with the cardigo classification. Now, there is what is called the A1, the A2, and the A3. Exactly. You need to know that what well, generally, if you are A1, it is A is for the albuminuria. How are you getting? So a cardigo 1A1 means that what at A1 you are going to have a non glomerular proteinuria. Basically, A1 you have a non glomerular proteinuria, meaning that the um, the <coughs> the um, protein levels of the urine is going to be less than one gram in a 24-hour urine sample, or you have a urine dipsy that is just one plus, meaning that it is just A1. Now, in the case of A2, you are going to have now a glomerular proteinuria. So when you have a glomerular Proteinuria meaning that what the protein level is one gram to three grams in a 24 hour urine sample, meaning that you are going to have a deep seek urine urinalysis that is going to show you two plus or three plus. Is it clear? It means that you are going to have A2 classification, and then the last one, A3, is when you are going to have a nephrotic range proteinuria. If you have a nephrotic range proteinuria, it means that it's A3. So, what do I mean by that? In this case, the protein level should be greater than 3 grams in a 24 hour urine sample, or you have at least a 4 plus on the urinal, the urine deep seek. Is it clear? So those are the three elements. So let's take an example of a cardigo stage one um, A1. Is it clear? Meaning that in this case, you are going to have a structural abnormality plus without without any functional abnormality. Meaning that the glomerular filtration is going to be greater than 90 mils per minute per 1.73 meters squared. And you are going to have also a non-glomerular proteinuria, meaning that the proteinuria within a 24-hour urine sample is going to be less than one gram, or you have a urine deep seek that is less, that only show a one plus um, proteinuria. Is it clear? So that is now for the class so for the introduction of the chronic kidney disease with definition and the classification of chronic kidney disease according to the Cartigo classification. Now, after visualizing this, we are going to move up to the second element now, which is the risk factors of acute kidney injury and chronic kidney disease.